Hello everybody watching at home, this is Walking and Talking with Phoenix and today we're talking about boredom! Or in particular, people that get bored. Uh, what is it with you people and how can you get bored? That's the question I'm asking! Seriously guys, look, look, look around you. Look around you, alright, look at everything. Look, look at that, that building, look at that tree. Look at the cars, look, look at that hot chick, look at everything around, how can you get bored? I mean, do you need constant YouTube channels and funny cat pictures and skits to keep you entertained? Or do you need, like, car crashes and explosions and violence to keep you turned on? Seriously, I think you take way too much for granted if you get bored. I mean, imagine this. Imagine an angel comes down from heaven and touches you, but not in a good way. The angel touches you in a way that he, he plucks your eyes from your head and he cuts out your tongue injects you with a paralyzing, you know, substance and sticks little corn cobs in your ears so you can't hear shit and, uh, yeah, you know, pretty much renders you of all your senses. Now, I imagine then you might have a lot of reason to get bored considering you can't hear, see, taste, smell or touch shit. But, uh, I bet you once the angel returns 24 hours later and gives you back your powers, gives you back your senses, you probably will struggle to feel bored ever again. I mean, seriously, this is a realm of possibility. Literally anything is possible, within reason. Or at least it's, it's fair to say that the, the options are endless in terms of what you can do, um, given this playground that we're in every day, all right? So if you're bored, if reality isn't entertaining or fulfilling enough, I think that is more so due to a lack of your imagination and a lack of your motivation to really engage with the endless opportunities that, you know, fill this place. So, I don't get it. I don't get why you need to be bored. I think people that need to have constant quick fixes of entertainment and seek these fixes on the outside really needed to sit down and meditate for a while and go inside themselves for a little bit because I think that there is where they need to do some development. There is where they need to focus a bit more. Instead of trying to find quick fixes on the outside, if they fix themselves on the inside, you probably won't get bored in the first place. I think it's about how one appreciates things and the way in which we appreciate. Instead of needing cheap stimulus and frenzious excitement on the outside, I think it's, it's good to learn how to appreciate the simple things such as birds flying in the sky and you know, lovers embracing and kissing and laughing, little children dropping their ice cream cones and crying. I mean, the world is full of many opportunities to smile and laugh, you know what I'm saying? And if, and if you can't do that, and you need these really extreme forms to keep you entertained, even if it's drugs or alcohol or partying or cheap company, I think that's sad. And I don't think it's because, you know, the world's a boring place and life is boring, because it's not. I think it's because you're boring. And it might be easier and more fulfilling if you deal with that first, instead of distracting yourself with all these, uh, all these outside, you know, quick fixes. You know what I'm saying? So that's my thought on that. Uh, I hope this wasn't too boring for you. But I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't make it to the end of the video. You're probably looking at cat pictures right now, aren't you? Either way, good luck with it. And I'll catch you next time for walking and talking with Phoenix. Woo!